Are you thinking about getting a Boston Terrier for the very first time and you're wondering, are Boston Terriers sensitive? In this video, I'm gonna explain everything coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com, and this is Bella, my Boston of over 10 years, and are they sensitive? The short answer is yes. Yes. First off, let me define what sensitivity is. So just a quick Google search definition. Sensitivity is of a person or person's behavior, having or displaying a quick and delicate appreciation of others' feelings. Yes, Bostons are sensitive. And I went ahead and pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook page. There, there's over 14,000 people that either enjoy Bostons or they're actual Boston Terrier owners themselves. I had 190 respondents and 88% of them said yes. Boston Terriers are a sensitive dog breed. Now, what other owners say in particular about their Boston Terriers and their sensitivity, I wanted to just highlight some of the examples that they shared. And there were five of them that really stood out to me that I wanted to go ahead and share. Now, I went ahead and left their name out, but I've just taken their transcript from the Facebook comments. If you wanna go ahead and check out the article, Are Boston Terriers Sensitive? You can check that article in the show notes below and it'll take you to that Facebook post. Without further ado, let's get into it. If I'm down, upset, or crying, all my Boston Terriers cling to me like white on rice. It's always given me so much comfort, the unconditional love and support they give. If I become mad, he will go right next to my dad because he thinks I'm mad at him. When my father fell, I couldn't get up. My Boston came and woke me up. They feel badly if they disappoint you and will pout if you disappoint them. When my lupus flared up, she became a Velcro dog and would not leave my side for days on end. And then the fifth one, no raised voices are crying. He'll start shaking uncontrollably. I just wanted to share those with you because yes, Boston Terriers are a sensitive dog. Not only are they sensitive you know, themselves, like it's not just about being yelled at, it's about them feeling and truly feeling your emotions. What kind of vibes are you putting off? Your Boston Terrier is going to sense those. So that means if you're upset, they can actually become upset. If you're angry, you know, that's gonna make them feel like you're angry at them. Keep this in mind whenever you're thinking about getting a dog for the very first time, that Boston Terriers are sensitive. As far as Bella being sensitive, yes, she's extremely sensitive to the point where if she does anything bad, whether or not it's tearing up the trash, which that's happened before, or maybe eating some wrappers, me just looking at her, she will not look at you in the eye, so look down and uh, sometimes start to shake. In this video, you know, me and Sophia, we come home and Bella has destroyed. We were letting her out in the living room area and just Bella destroyed the trash can and it was everywhere. But Bella was trembling because she knew she did something wrong. I didn't even need to say anything. What happened? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. Uh-oh is right. Then the other case was I came home from work one day and Bella had gotten up on the counter and gotten some English muffins and she tore up the wrapper in the process. I found the wrapper, pointed it out, and she wouldn't even look at me in the face. It's not about you yelling at them. It's them knowing that they've done something wrong and they've disappointed you. And that just makes them really sensitive. Keep this in mind whenever you're getting a Boston for the very first time. Now, if you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers in regard to how much do they cost, where can I find one, what's the process as far as, you know, going to the vet for the very first time, I answer all these questions in a series of videos and it's on the bostonterriersociety.com website. It's the Puppy Academy. You can check it out in the show notes below or just simply Google Boston Terrier Society Puppy Academy and it'll be the first one that pops up. This is a free course and it'll just walk you through the whole process of living with a Boston Terrier and everything you need to know from what kind of stuff you should get your Boston for the very first time and what it's like owning a Boston from other owners sharing their experiences. So I hope this helps you in your search. Otherwise, you can always subscribe to this YouTube channel, just get the latest information about Boston Terriers. So you can do that now, or you can check out one of our videos of should you get a Boston Terrier here where I talk to other owners or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.